Hello everybody, it is King King 57 or KC57, and welcome back to episode number 11 of the Every Block Challenge. Uh, yeah, today's going to be a pretty interesting episode, uh, because we're going to be doing quite a bit of things, um, or at least I have quite a bit of things planned, but let me run you through some of them. So, first thing I want to do in today's episode is actually related to the thing we did in the last episode. If you have not checked that out, you should definitely go and do that. Um... But we went about a billion blocks that way to go get, oh, there's a creeper right there, um, to go get a jungle wood. Um, so we ended up doing that and we placed it in the every block challenge. Um, it was pretty good. So we also forgot when we went over there, uh, sand and a bunch of sandstone. That'll get us up to all the wools that we need. And I don't think we're going to focus on that in today's episode because the main thing um, I want to focus on is first off, finally, after like four episodes uh, completing that room right there because it's not done yet it doesn't have a roof and also by special request of one person we're going to be building an automatic chicken farm um, which is why i actually need to go into the nether um, today because i need nether quartz to create a comparator i'm fairly certain so yeah why don't we go get some sand and let's go quickly finish that off in the every block challenge okay we have arrived um we've come all this way uh, I have also made a whole bunch of my different sandstones that I will eventually need. So let's get up here and then I need to place the sand. There we go. Uh, I think next to sandstone. Yeah, it is. Okay. Sandstone and then the smooth. No, it's a uh, chiseled sandstone. Yep. And then smooth sandstone. So there we go. Now we're up to all the wools. So next we'll need white walled and orange wool. Why did I do that? That is a really weird common straight from white to like orange it should be like white light gray dark gray slightly darker gray black okay whatever <laughs> anyway so let's move on to the next thing in today's episode okay so i've made it back and before we go straight into the nether which by the way i am prepared for oh wait i forgot blocks um but before we go straight into the nether i wanted to enchant this last book because i ran out of lapis um in the last episode when i was enchanting books so i thought i might as well just um enchant it now and then also um i'm not bringing my main sword my or my main bow um, or my main pickaxe just because i don't really want to try and risk the, um losing them so I have just crafted up some new ones, which is why I am also um, going to have to enchant at least my sword, I would like to. So, efficiency 2, um, or power 1. I think I'm going to go for efficiency 2. Okay, that worked. Well, great. So, we now have efficiency 2, power 1, and blast protection 2. So, let's not put our sword in here. Let's see what we can get. So, oh, well, that's not super worth it so let's see our bow yeah no okay <laughs> well that was a complete waste of time um i guess i might as well combine these with my main stuff so no quickly do that and let's go into the uh, nether okay so we now have a power two bow efficiency three diamond pickaxe and still sharpest one sword so anyway let's go into the nether and dang it i pressed the windows button again why do I do that every single time? <laughs> I'm going to leave that in. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, I do remember there's basically a fortress right there. So um, I'm actually not going to go straight for that because I need quartz. Um, yeah, no. Oh, and there's some right there. I'm experiencing a bit of lag, but it seems perfectly fine. So, well, this was a um, uh, short journey because, um, well, it's right here. <laughs> nice. And, oh, okay, I just heard a ghast. Please do not shoot at me while I am doing stuff. Although if it does, I'll have last protection two pants. So at least my pants will be fine. Um, so does that only 16? How many do you get from like one vein of quartz? That was a lot more than that. Huh. I guess you only get like one piece of quartz per like vein thing. So let's go down here. Yeah, that ghast is kind of scaring me. I really only need one comparator, so um, this is probably fine for now. Uh, I'll definitely hop back in here if I need some more. Uh, now, how do I get back up here? Great, okay. So, that was pretty good. Um, I didn't die. Uh, this has been... Golly, I can't get back up. All right, so now that we have quartz to make a comparator, I'm going to quickly make all of this stuff. Um, that I'll need, and then I'll show you guys uh, my design. Okay, so I'm back. Um, it's been a few days. 
Uh, I also did a mining trip in between well, the last clip and this clip. It's about to become night, and we're actually, um, well, update 1.13 has come out now, but I'm still going to be, for this last episode, I'm going to be on 1.12.2. If you haven't seen my overview of what 1.13 is, you can check that out up there. Um, but for now, let's continue on with the chicken farm. So I have all of the stuff that I need in my inventory, as you can see. Um, we will need quite a bit of stuff, and I'm actually going to be recycling a design, um, a slightly modified version of a design that I came up with um, quite a long time ago, uh, and then used in Quest to Kill the Ender Dragon episode number 22, the last one that I did. I'll link that up there as well so you can go and watch it. But the first thing that we're actually going to need to do is get all of these chickens and get all of their eggs and then kill them all. <laughs> Sadly, yes, I am going to have to get rid of the chickens to have a chicken farm, a fully automatic one. So, yeah. So now that I've cleared out a bit more space and I've gotten rid of all the chickens, I'm going to first start out by kind of uh, marking the center point of our design here. So I'm actually going to put, um, I need my dispenser here because that is how that is going to work. And I do not have a dispenser. Great, I'll just mark it with a cobblestone block for now. So let's go out like to about here and oop, not too far. And I guess that'll be the center point. So now if we build one up right there, and I guess we could just build this kind of two... Uh, what is this five by five block area right here which is where the chickens are actually going to be held so like that and now we can jump up onto here i will actually add a ladder on the side of this um or i need to extend this out one more dang it all right i need to extend this out one more like this there we go um and this will be fully because i have to put up the walls as well to make sure the chickens don't you know like fall out and things like that and actually I don't think I have to. I think it'll just be fine um, without that. So I'm just going to keep it like this. All right. So if I grab my ladders here, then we can build up a small little area right here. We'll go up two blocks, I think, is what I need to go up. And then we'll actually have to place water in on each of the corners of this little area. And that'll be um, how the chickens are pushed towards the middle. There's also... Um, there should be a block right there, and I should mine this thing out right here, and I somehow need to... Oh yeah, I remember how to do this. So you have to sit down here like this, grab a half slab, place this down right there, and then you can mine out this block right here, and that'll keep the water um, from kind of just, you know, going... Or the chickens from actually just falling straight into the hopper, or just being in the hopper in general. So, let's create an infinite water source right about here and... I will place in all of the water. So I actually had to um, make the thing a bit bigger, as you can see here, because it just created one massive infinite water source um, when I didn't do that. So the next thing, now that we have all our all of our water in here, is we actually need to place a hopper down pretty much right in the center. So um, I need to get to that somehow. So I'm just gonna dig a hole for now. So if I take this away with a pickaxe, there we go. Yep, that works. Okay, so we can grab a hopper if I do that really quickly. It is becoming night. Yes, I am aware. Um, grab a couple hoppers, actually. So we can take these guys, and they can be uh, placed. Let's see, where, where do I want to place them? Actually, I need to grab a block first of all. I can just place the first one right here, and then I need to kind of do that. Or actually, no, I need to go the other direction. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it is... I'm not great at redstone, as you can probably tell, so I'll be back. So now that I've grabbed a dispenser, which I've placed down here, um, what'll happen is I'll have hopper lines. I'll have a hopper line um, going from the dispenser. That will capture eggs um, falling down, so I really only needed two dispenser or two hoppers. So if we have chickens in here, they will, you know, poop out their eggs. Those will go down there. They will go into the hopper. Um, those will then go straight into the dispenser. This dispenser... Um, I think it needs to be actually one more forwards because it won't fire. I won't. The design won't work correctly if it um, if it looks like this. So we have it right there. Then we can break this block. I think we need to place one more hopper. We then need to add basically a mechanism that will a clock basically that will fire all of the eggs out of this into um, what is essentially if I kind of do slightly destroy the landscape here. I will have to extend out actually. I have to do a bit of terraforming. Uh, kind of like that. It will fire into a half slab, this dispenser, which I have on me somewhere. There it is. 
you can place this right here. And this will have to be surrounded by glass. The chickens will then sit on top of this half slab. There will be actually a thing of lava right here where this block is. Um, the baby chickens actually do not burn. Uh, if they're standing on a half slab and there's lava above them, they don't burn. Um, but adult ones do. And I think you get where I'm going with this. So if we have a chest right about here, then we place a dispenser coming from that chest onto this thing. When they die, they will drop cooked chicken. That will then go straight into this chest for me to use. So that's my design. I'm going to quickly uh, kind of clean things up a bit here. I will have to uh, like kind of extend out the land here. And then I'll put the glass casing around. Okay, so now that I have the glass casing in, I will have to place a piece of lava right there. But in theory, everything we have that should be placed in is placed in. We just need chickens in there. Um, and the last thing we need to do is actually wire up this entire thing. So, first thing we need to do is we actually need to create a clock, um, a redstone clock, which can be done pretty easily. Um, I'll take a, I need a repeater here. You can grab this guy, place that right there, place a piece of redstone there. And this is just a simple, like, uh, good old-fashioned comparator clock, which runs off of a redstone. Actually, no, it won't run off of a redstone clock. It'll run off of actually a redstone torch. Um, so that'll have to be placed right about here. And I can place the redstone torch now. So this is essentially now a toggleable clock. If we turn this on, we now have a clock. Um, I should have built this closer. Okay, boom, there we go. So we now have a clock. I did have to add a repeater in here just because it's being a bit strange. Um, just one take was enough. So there we go. Now that we have some dirt blocks in there, those will run. So that is a clock that we can toggle. Um, this is one way to toggle it by just doing this. Another way to toggle it is to actually turn this on and off. Um, that is the wrong block. But yeah, so now what we need to do is we actually need to make a detecting circuit that will detect when there are items in here. So I'm going to quickly go to bed because it is night and I'll get to work on that. So for a detecting circuit, what we'll need is we'll need another comparator because this will actually detect when there are blocks in here. I will need one redstone. Uh, I think I can go straight to a repeater. Yeah, I'm fairly certain. Okay, that works probably. Um, so if I dig this out right here, there we go. And now if I place a block in here, I should get a signal. Yep. All right. We have a signal now. Um, that's good. So we need to now next take this um i should probably i should have probably just do it right here um so what you can do actually is i'm now going to invert the signal so that is now inverted um if i grab I, my shovel right here give myself a bit more room if we place a block in here as you can see this redstone is on um but if we place a block in here it is now off um that is very useful because we'll have to invert it again so now that we have that, we can, I think, run this straight over here. And I guess all the way to, um, oh wait, we need to uh, make sure these lines do not touch at all, because if they do, that would be bad. Um, I think I can actually just place these two on blocks just to keep that from happening. So if we do it like that, yeah, it still works probably. Um, now I think I can, yeah, okay, there we go. If I place it over here, uh, the signal is getting a bit weak but it should still be fine and there we go all right so now if we place a torch right here this will be inverted and this will basically be powered off so i think this all yeah this all works now so what we can do if i go back over there is we can place a block in there and it will start the clock um that will then throw the whatever is in there out of the dispenser um yep there we go and it'll put it in the chest Yep, okay, that works. Nice, so I guess the final thing we need to do is we need to close this all back off so I can do that very quickly. And then all we need to really do is just fill the thing with chickens. And I would think I'm about to run out of dirt. Yeah, I need more dirt, okay, good. So now that I have come back from the mine um, with my lava, we can now place this down. And I'm gonna have to, actually, I need to place a block right there um, or else this is gonna be bad. I'll use glass probably, so. Place block right there. This should all still work. Uh, if I break this piece of redstone, yep, okay, it still works. Um, I need to place that back down. Great. So we can now place a bucket of lava right in the center right here, just like that. I'll put a half slab just on top of it, make sure um, 
nothing can accidentally go in and oh i did that wrong great save the half slab oh we did it nice all right if i jump why <laughs> why can't i do this nope that one's gone if i oh no it's right here okay there we go that's what i wanted <laughs> so that should work now and i have all of the eggs with me so we can now just go on a complete and utter frenzy of just placing of throwing eggs into this thing. And that's how many chickens we're going to have. They will eventually poop out more chickens. Um, those will then grow up, get put into the actual system, and yeah, we'll get cooked chicken. All right, I've run out of eggs, and wow, that is a lot of chickens. Um, way too many to count, but eventually they will grow up. They shouldn't uh, be able to get up there. Uh, if they do, I'll just put a half slab right there. Um, but... Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, we are done with this little project. We can take this bed now, if I could actually punch it away. And we can use some of our dirt here to just fill up this hole. And there we go. So now we should eventually be getting just uh, cooked chicken, if this works. So now that that's done, I guess we can move on to our final project of today, which will actually be to finally, um, after a million years, uh, finish off that roof um, in my little kind of smelting enchanting room thing. So finally, after like 20 million episodes, moving on to our roof here that will eventually finally finish. The reason why I had it for so long like put this off was actually because of light. Um, I couldn't figure out a way to get enough light in here, um, and I didn't have any good ideas for a window design, but I think I'm actually going to use the vertical windows um, from that house over there, but you can't see them, they're on the other side, uh, so not a great example. But I'm going to do them along this wall, and I'm going to try and do maybe a couple along here. So I was going to do them, you know, fully like this, but yeah, I don't have enough room. So I'm actually just going to do a stylistic thing and do like two or so kind of like this. I will have to make them uh, look like that because this is going to be uh, a little bit smaller of a room than you might think because there's going to be a roof right about there. So I'm going to do one like this and then the rest of them are going to be three high. And hopefully that doesn't look too strange. Um, I may even alternate just, just to see what it will look like, but I don't know. So... I'm actually going to try the alternating thing first, and I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so here's what I have so far. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. Um, I also did add this little section right here, because I want to make the roof a bit taller, or at least a bit wider um, than the bottom half, just to give the, the build a bit more depth. Uh, I placed that one wrong. So I was thinking about that, and then the doorway as well. I can't do any windows here, I figured that out, so I'm gonna have to figure out something to put right here. Uh, maybe even, actually, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a map. I'm gonna put a massive map of the entire place. That'll be interesting. Um, I may do that out of like a spruce wood. That'll look nice, yeah, okay. But for the doorway, I also wanna have an accent on the doorway, even though, um, yeah, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. So I thought I might as well just kind of play around with ideas. So I used dark oak um, for this centerpiece, which I'm still, uh, I don't know about it, um, but we'll, we'll address that another day if I have to. Um, however, for the doorway, I was thinking I might as well continue that, kind of do like an outline maybe even. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that looks good or not. I may even add here, let's add a little bit up here and we'll see, does that look good at all? You know what, kind of. It's a bit strange. Um, I don't know. This is so hard. Uh, so I'll have to definitely put some more right here, maybe, and a bit more right there. So maybe that works. I have no idea. Um, great, okay, so if I put some window panes right there, and then we'll have the doors, the three doors that I'll need to go kind of right there. That looks like an A. That was not the intention. Um, golly, that is so hard. Uh, I'll have to mess around with ideas. For now, I'm just going to put that right there. But now let's move on. I'm actually going to place in the entire roof now and just see how dark it is in this room um, and if we need to come up with a few more windows or not. 
All right, so I have finished the roof. Uh, I came back up here just to sleep and get a few more. I need some, or I need three doors is what I need actually. So let's quickly do that. Boom, there we go. All right, so let's take these doors. We'll place them in. Uh, still not entirely 100% on the glass and how it's gonna look. Um, so still working on that. I may actually, um, if I had one door right there, yep. And then I took some wood, which I placed right here. Um, then I extended this back down. Would that look any better? Um, I think so. In my mind, it looks a lot better, but you know, of course, no idea. Um, I can get back a better perspective. Yeah, that looks quite a bit better, actually. I think I like that. So there's that. Uh, I will place some torches, of course, on the outside of this place. Uh, I'll place one right here and one right here for now. But on the inside, as you can see, um, it's actually not too dark. So now that we have a bunch of windows and, of course, these torches, which are definitely helping, I did add these spruce accents here um, because this bookshelf will eventually go up to the top, even though it's not needed. Um, I want it because it'll make it look a lot better. And eventually, we'll have over on this wall, which looks extremely empty right now, um, we'll hopefully have a massive map of my code, which will be pretty cool. Um, so I can't wait to do that. So yes, this episode has been pretty productive, I'd say so. Uh, we built a really, really ugly automatic chicken farm, but honestly, it works. Um, and it will probably work. So yeah, um, there it is. <laughs> As you can see, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty ugly. Um, but in the next episode, what I want to do, and this is going to be a big undertaking because I used up almost all of my wood, uh, is to start on the massive storage system, which is going to be extremely difficult to get all the wood for and to figure out all the styling for. So wish me luck. But for now, um, that is all I have time for today. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.